Yo, what's up everybody, it's King Wolf. Welcome to today's video. Now, if you're still playing Madden 20, that's good for you. I'm still playing it. I'm also playing 2K. I'm gonna drop a video with this one of my first ever gameplay, so check it out, man. If you wanna see me just look horrible in 2K because I've never really played 2K. I The last NBA game that I played was like live back in the day. So I started playing 2K. I'm gonna try to get into that. As well as still Call of Duty with Madden 21. We're gonna do try to do as much as we can on this channel just to bring variety you know what i'm saying but madden will always be number one in today's video what we're going to talk about is pass plays from the raiders from the gun bunch tight end that are good against cover two and cover four i showed you guys the cover four palms and the cover four quarters from this formation the gun bunch tight end now i'm going to show you the cover two the way you glitch out cover two and the way you can throw it against cover four uh, and that's what we're talking about two ways well actually it's two plays for cover two within this playbook that you can use uh you can run my variations and then blend in with whatever you run it's it's cool i just show you guys like the deeper passes to get you more yards because that's how i roll when i play i'm constantly looking for the one play tds and the long yards i'm not really throwing drags unless i'm unless i really have to so if people playing blues behind their defense then i'll start throwing the small routes and stuff like that so gun bunch tight end all you're going to want to do is put your fastest wide receiver on the outside and your second fastest on the inside. Probably want to put your fastest fastest on the outside, I think, because depending on the hash, because you know how they flip it, Hardman, if I flip this play, Hardman's going out to the right if I flip it, okay? So Hardman will be out to the right and Tyreek Hill will be on the inside. If I keep it stocked the way it is and I run it left, then Tyreek Hill's gonna be on the outside, Hardman's gonna be on the inside. You guys get what I'm saying? Uh, gun bunch tight end, and the first play we're gonna talk about is actually going to be the same one that we used against cover four, the curl flat corner. I'm gonna show you guys how to glitch out the cover two defense. It's simple. Uh, even pros use this. Well, I put this out last year, I guess like at the beginning of Madden, uh, when I realized that you could do that. And if I'm gonna check in Madden 21 to see if it's still true. Now, people do say that that is how cover two works in this game. I don't agree because I think a cloud should play a cloud instead of just going straight to a hard flat is pretty much what we're doing. I guess we're forcing the squat the cloud, the hard to consistently play a route to open up other routes. And to me, that's just a little glitchy, but you could call it what you want. I call it glitchy. People will say no. So as we're on cover two on defense, all you're going to do to execute this glitch, okay, is you're gonna streak X, and you're gonna put B on an out route. So what's gonna happen here is the B route is going to force the cloud to him immediately. And then I set up my pass protection. I'm gonna double team this guy, ID the mic on this guy. And you'll see that this guy will get the chop block animation. That guy actually runs out there and waits. And then we have Robinson over here. Now, if you're gonna be running this, you could probably take Robinson out, put Watkins back in. Okay, so put Watkins in the middle, have him running that corner route. You don't want the corner route to be ran too fast, if that makes any sense to you guys. I don't know if it does, but whenever I throw corner routes, it'd be cool to have fast wide receivers doing it, but I'd rather have the best route runner, right? I, I don't know. And these guys get to the sideline too quick. And it doesn't really matter what cover two they run. You're going to notice that the out route will always uh, pull the cloud immediately. You'll see the cloud go waiting for him some most of the times. Oh, and that's 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 not I got to throw this away. I got to throw that away. Okay. Got to throw that away because that just didn't look good right there. That was a contain. That was nice. Good defense. And we're back to 3D. Let me go down really quick. Um, I didn't set up the pass protection anyway. So that's a big thing. That's a big deal in this game. So streak X put B on the out route. Block the running back. Uh, ID the mic on this guy. You can even bring your running back over if you want, bro. Okay, you can do that. That way you get that block immediately off the line. You know what I'm saying? This guy's going to play the B route. Y will come over here. Easy money. Now, a good user is going to play that corner route, so you have to be careful. Okay? You have to be careful. So putting this guy like that, the user, and that's the way you're going to want to stop this play. If you see three down linemen like this, then don't be afraid to run the ball, bro. Just run the ball get you your yards don't try to be the hero you see three down linemen just run the ball like again right here this is where i would be running the ball and i wouldn't even think twice about it you know what i'm saying get me 10 yards just running the ball immediately once i see that kind of defense so you, what you're essentially doing is you're keeping them and i don't know why they keep running the same defense bro it's insane 10 yards at a time because of the quarters defense that looked like quarters defense to be honest with you guys it might have been dollar okay so here we go again one more time to show you guys this glitch will we'll, we'll switch it up a little bit so what I'm going to do here is I'll just double team the outside guy. Boom. He pulls him over there. And this guy's open. I'm going to try to stay in bounds. I couldn't stay in bounds. Okay. 
So that's that way to run it. Another way you can run it is if you're on the right hash. Okay, let me show you guys really quick. And you switch to the PA boot over. I'll just audible to it. PA boot over, okay? You see this right here? Then what you're gonna do is, I wanna say you motion out hard. We're gonna try both both ways because now I'm starting to compute. No, you know what, you can't. You can't motion out hard, man. Here's why. You're gonna motion out your tight end. Cancel play action, motion out your tight end. Once he gets out there, you can put him on a comeback route. Next thing we're gonna do is, I wanna say, bro, I wanna say that I should streak Y, or probably even on the crossing route. Boom, get the chop block, well actually the block. And then you're just gonna throw this over the top right here. You see what I'm saying? You guys see how you throw that cover two beater? Now to stop that right there, you're gonna put a middle blue. To stop the other one, you're gonna user the corner route. So just so you guys know, we're gonna come back to PA boot over. This is if you notice that someone's not running cover two properly, like they, they don't put a middle blue out there. You can run this over the top. So people that run cover two sync a lot, they do that. Um, but yeah, you could either keep Robinson on his crossing route to try to bait the user, which would work most of the time. Uh, you could probably streak Tyreek Hill would probably be another thing you can do. But I'm trying out different variations to show you guys. I don't know if it's like legit going to work like that. We're, 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 I'm doing this at the same time you guys are. Okay, see, I didn't like that right there. That's too close, so probably not streaking Tyreek Hill. But at the same time, he did get delayed because I want to say that Tyreek Hill actually bumped him off his route. So let's go back to boot over. Uh, let's run it stock. And then you can see that right here, this is it's, it's not going to work. You're going to need to pull your tight end. People on the user and stuff like that, it, it's just it's a chaotic mess. You don't want that. Boom, boom. Launch this over the top. One play TDs. You could probably do this with Goodwin. You could probably do this with uh, Brown. You could probably do it with other wide receivers that are just as fast as Hardman. Okay, it doesn't have to be Tyreek Hill, but I mean Hardman still still is fast, right? So that's technically all you got to do is just put A on a streak, motion him out, put him on a comeback route, like that. And then double team, ID the mic, and then you could run it that way. So you're probably better off just doing that right there. Wait for him to break. So you pass that over the top and then throw it. And I'm going to be running, like, I would be running this play all the time. It's kind of like the Y-Off Trio Week PA post shot. It's almost like that, just as good. It's just, it's very, it's, it's uh, a little iffy because of the way you run it. Now, another way you can run this against cover four. Now we're going to go back to the left hash. You're going to run the same play. Let's go back to the left hash. Pay attention because if you're using the Oakley Raiders playbook, you better pay attention to what you're doing in the hash. So we're going to come back. We're going to select the PA boot over, okay? And you can run this against cover four drop. I don't think the Seahawks have a cover four drop uh, only in dollars. So PA boot over. I'm going to flip the play. You guys see that deep post. You guys already know that, that know how to throw the cover four beaters, what I'm looking for. This is going to be good against the dollar three, two, six, and the three, four odd. Um... And I'm gonna explain to, to you guys how to beat it really quick as well, like how to do this and then how to beat it. So what you can do is take Y, put him on a drag, block the tight end, and then put Y on an out route. Then you're gonna motion Hardman over. This is how you're gonna run the cover four beater, okay? Boom, boom, just like that. Roll out with B, throw it over the top, and it's gonna be a one play touchdown. You see that? Easy. Easy, easy. Let's do that again one more time so you guys can see it. And then I'm gonna show you guys the setup to beat it. Okay, how to how I run the cover four drop. This, I'm gonna show you guys a simple way to run it so people can't do this to you because people are gonna do this to you. Drag X, put Y to out route. So I'm gonna give you guys both sides of the story. Boom! Right over the top, it's a one play TD. So you can catch your opponent slipping that way. Now the corner route that I showed you earlier against cover two, you're gonna have to use of that corner route. Okay. Simple as that. People use your corner routes all day. The other cover two beater over the middle, you're going to put a middle blue. Okay? You're, you're going to take your safety or your linebacker, whoever you got. I recommend you use a safety. Sub out the linebackers, put the safeties in. Put him on a middle blue. Middle linebacker or whoever you got in that position, middle blue that guy, you stop that deep post over the middle to stop this one. Okay. This is how I run my cover four drop. Let me set the play. Let me set the offensive play up right. Okay. The only thing is, is I can't use her this stuff, bro. Like, it's going to be hard. Okay, so the way I run my cover four drop is I'll take this guy over here and I'll put him on an inside third, okay? So like this. 
and then I'll just back him up over here and then I'm using this guy okay so this is how I run my cover four drop uh, and then I'll play clouds and hard flats or however you want to do it with your your clouds curl flats whatever the only thing that you're susceptible to is if you base a lie they can hit you with out routes really easy so if we show him the cover four drop in his pre previous play he can come out in this right here uh, and I'm just gonna man up my user to this guy okay so let's assume I'm just gonna guard the, the crossing route okay now let's try to throw this B route come over we're gonna throw it and we got someone to help make a play right there we got someone to make a play just because of that adjustment so that adjustment right there is literally just taking this guy on this side and putting him on an inside third there's other ways to do it as well you can take other blues and mess around with them whatever you want to do but this is just something simple that i do okay i'll run this from three four odd and i'll put like uh, a good safety back here and i'll use it that way and then i technically to be honest with you guys i'll be using i won't be using drags i'll be using the crossing route so i'll be up here with it you know what i'm saying and then that safety can break to it you can take your left side uh corner or whoever you have in that position for safety you could change his blue so he plays back there just different things you could do so there it is man i showed you guys three plays and then i showed you guys how to stop them or tell you guys explain to you guys how to stop them that you can use in your arsenal if you're using the raiders playbook gun bunch tight end is in others i'll go over more as we go along man love you guys man peace